do I think commercialism does to society? Um, what do I think commercialism does to society as a DJ, producer, musician? I think that what commercialism does to society is it pretty much, it, I think it's the, you know, I hate to call it the weak mind, but I guess the easy way to say it is is the, the, um, the financially motivated artist or the financially motivated individual. It, it, it has them believe that, you know, these trends that exist that they need to, you know, create within these parameters. And what ends up happening is, is they, they pass down a message to all of those in the community that, that, you know, you got to create this type of genre or you got to make sure that you can commercially be marketed. When in actuality, what actually creates the culture and the community as a whole is the backbone, is, is, is pretty much predicated upon the backbone of the creative individuals. The folks that are doing artwork that resonates within their spirits. Things that, you know, like, if you think about, if you think about like Parliament Falkadelli, you know, of course, of course they started off and they were doing doo-wop music and stuff like that. But they, they inevitably got to a point where, you know, you had Parliament Falkadelli, which was really, really rough around the edges and very expressive and very free. And then you had on the other end of the scale, you had Earth, Wind, and Fire. It was very, very um, technical and um, and conservative, if you will. And, uh, and Parliament Funkadelic was very eccentric. And so, commercially, commercial-wise, you know, it appeared as though horns in a band and to be playing these instruments that you didn't want to you didn't want to you didn't want to be so funky you know what i'm saying you wanted to be you wanted to be you know really sharp around the edges and really neat and really classy and very clean and and it's possible that everybody wanted to be that way because it seemed like it was commercially more acceptable to be that way but and, and it's not what I'm, I'm not saying that earth wind and fire was commercial and that everything that they were doing wasn't, you know, real. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that when commercialism comes into play, a lot of people tend to do things just because it can be marketing and it can make some money. And what happens when things are, are commercialized and they're, and they're able to make money, you got all the people that are doing all, all these individual uh, free things, these unique things that really really gotta go extra hard because nobody wants to hear what they're doing nobody wants to hear it because it's not being commercially accepted and if it's not being commercially accepted then in essence it's not popular and so i think that you know commercialism affects the dj producer musician in a way that uh it pretty much uh Say that they say that when, when a person gets more money, it just shows it just shows the world more of who that person actually is. You know, puts you under a magnifying glass. You know, if you're nice and kind while you're broke, you're gonna be you're gonna be nice and kind when you're wealthy. You know, is what they say. And so I think that I think that there's a, a parallelism uh, between that and the actual type of art that the person creates. I think that. I think that if the person's gonna do something that they love and something uh, because they individually love it and it's, it's not able to be commercially marketed, I think that once it actually is popular that, you know, that form of art that they're doing and that, that which is their identity will continue to remain true. And um, I think that that's a beautiful thing because, you know, that's what we need to, that's what we need to stress and, and, and commercially market more than anything is someone being true to themselves. So that's how I think that 